گو آنکھ سے دور جا چکا تو روشن ہے مگر چراغ ستو مرحوم لبوں کا حروف زندہ مظلوم دلوں کا ہم نوا تو دیز آر دا اسٹارٹنگ لائنس فرام مرنے کا ہنر سکھا گیا تو ریٹن بائی رینڈ اردو پوئٹ احمد فراز ایز اے ٹریبیوٹ ٹو اے گریٹ ریزسٹنس لیڈر آف کشمیر محمد مقبول بھٹ ہو واز ہینگڈ آن سیٹرڈے الیونتھ فیبروری نائنٹین ایٹی فور بائی گورنمنٹ آف انڈیا Many people attain fame and prominence during their lifetime and some after death. Makbul Bhatt, a revolutionary rebel who gave a new face to Kashmir's struggle during his lifetime and changed the discourse of Kashmir's resistance has been a source of inspiration to innumerable freedom fighters of Kashmir. His death anniversary in Kashmir is observed as a black day, a reminder of Indian's brutality. Makbul Bhatt was born in Theragam, village of Kupwara, on 18 February 1938, the same year in which Kashmir's political history changed perhaps forever, as MOVE was initiated to convert the Muslim conference into national conference, which practically materialized on 11th June 1939. Makbul Bhatt, like a multitude of Kashmiri Muslims, came from a poor family, and his mother passed away when he was only 11 years old. Makbul's father, Ghulam Qadir Bhatt, who was a tailor by profession, married again. His stepmother, Shamal, today lives at their ancestral home in Telgam and remember Makbul as a shy and studied skit. Makbul was a sharp observer, high in qualities of social intelligence, which made him start his political career at a very young age. His motivation was to unchain Kashmir from subjugation, oppression and repression he was facing under autocratic rule. In a letter, Azra Mir, daughter of veteran resistance, leader GM Mir Makbul Bhatt wrote, It was 1945 or 1946 when I was 8 or 9 years old when I fought against the feudal aristocratic and autocratic Dogra regime against injustice done to Kashmiris. In the meantime, Bhatt also completed his graduation from St. Joseph College, Baramula, where he was active as a student activist and would participate in protests during the Ganga hijacking fiasco. Makbul Bhatt, in an interview with Weekly Zindagi, said, During college, the M before us was a plebiscite, and we used to protest. One of the benefits of our protests was that The government of India took control of our college. Khwaja Rafiq in his book, Safide Huriyat, the Ambassador of Liberation, quotes comments of college principal Father Franks on Makbul Bhatt. This young, man, this young man, if managed to pass through a hard time, will become a great person. But these type of people usually face extreme difficulties in society. The kind of freedom this type of youngsters demand is very hard to achieve subsequently. They get sacrificed on their way to freedom. The words of Franks proved true. In 1957, when Sheikh Abdullah was released in the agitation following his release, many people were arrested. At that time, Makbul Bhatt was in his final year and was taking his exam. Following this, he went underground and later completed masters in Urdu literature as was well read deeply on the world history, politics and religion, the impression of which can be seen in his writings and the latter he wrote from jail to Mia Sarwar, Azra Amir and many other people. Makbul Bhatt was a visionary, far-sighted person. His jailmate Ranjit Singh, a Khalsi activist, recalled after his death that Makbul told me that before the attack of Golden Temple, it will be attacked and gave me many reasons. Roshni Ka Shahid Awal, M.H. Altaf. Such was Makbul's vision. Makbul started his career as a journalist with magazine called Anjam as a sub-editor. He soon left his job and started his activism by fighting for Kashmir Azadi independence. Before working in Pakistan, he taught in school in Bijhara by Jamaat-e-Islami. It was a year in 1961. 
but joined active politics contested and won the Kashmir diaspora seat from Peshawar, Pakistan in the basic democratic election. Following this victory, Makbul but campaigned for K.H. Hurshid for a presidential election and J.M. Lawn for council elections in both won elections. Makbul but was one of the founding members of Kashmir Independence Committee formed in 12 March 1963 and Jammu Kashmir plebiscite front formed in April 1965 when Sheikh Abdullah and Mirza Afzal Beg were in Pakistan discussing confederation of India, Pakistan and Kashmir to resolve Kashmir issue with Pats as a vice president and afterwards Makbul Bhatt founded Jammu Kashmir National Liberation Front formed on Friday 13 August 1965 in Peshawar. Makbul later went on to become a president of two organizations. Makbul played a role in every major political upheaval in Kashmir afterwards, noted columnist and author Zahir Deen in his book Flashback wrote that Makbul had a role to play for everyone, including notorious collaborators like Bakshi Ghulam Muhammad for his independent Kashmir dream. He met him and Bakshi agreed to help him in armed struggle and signed a document with blood showing ready to sacrifice, but soon afterwards he was arrested. This was revealed to Zahir Deen by former acting Pazpicide Front President and his friend but Edu G. N. Hongru, in an interview on his deathbed, inspired by Algerian revolutionary Makbul Bhatt crossed the line of control to recruit youth for NLF. Makbul entered the valley on 10th June 1966 with Amir Ahmad and Kala Khan, while Major Amanullah, who also fought in the Second World War with Subhash Chandra Bose, remained near LOC. After spending three months in Kashmir, an encounter took place in Kupwara in which Aurangzeb Tahir was killed and the rest of the two were arrested. It was Tahir who had killed Amar Chand, an intelligence office of state police. They were arrested by the then SP Baramula Kupwara Shayamji, who was the brother of famous Dr. Nasir Shah and political activist Mahmuda Ali Shah. Makbul Bhatt Telgam se tehar tak Tahir Ahmed Meer. Soon after his arrest in 1968, Makbul Bhatt was awarded a death sentence. In Srinagar jail, Makbul Bhatt started planning to escape from the prison. After one and a half month of painstaking efforts on the intervening night of 8th and 9th December 1968, he successfully escaped from the jail. Along with Mir Ahmed and Yasin Bandana crossed over the other parts of a Kashmir why a Kala court area. Makbul Bhatt's aim was to highlight the Kashmir issue at international level. To meet this end, NLF hijacked an aircraft. The aircraft was hijacked by Hashim Qureshi in 1971, who, according to B.M. Sinha in his book Samba's Fine Case, was BSF and RAW agent. Former RAW chief R.K. Yadav in his book Mission RAW also discussed it in this his book. The hijacking created political furor. After his hijacking, India cancelled all transport to Pakistan and under international pressure, Makbul Bhatt was arrested. In May 1976, Makbul Bhatt re-entered Kashmir against the advice of his friends and colleagues. This time, he entered the valley with Abdul Hamid Bhatt and Riaz Dar. Only Dr. Farooq Haider was aware of Makbul Bhatt's entry in valley. At that time, it was Bir Shahida Qayyum, a postgraduate in political science who used to support Makbul Bhatt in his adventure of guerrilla war. When Makbul Bhatt ran short of finances, his group restored to a bank robbery which was pre-planned with the bank manager Sanaullah Magri, who later shouted at them when they had stormed inside the bank demanding money and the group forcibly took Indian rupees 4,000 from Sanaullah Magre, the bank manager. Magre resisted and was killed by Riaz Dar, who was accompanying 
Makbul Bhatt by another unsupported version stated that he was mistakenly fired by Ramzan Shikari and his, this led to the arrest of Makbul Bhatt. The arrest of Makbul Bhatt was a major breakthrough for police and he was later taken to New Delhi Tehar Jail. According to JKLF leader and spokesperson and author of Makbul Bhatt's biography, Roshni Ka Shaheed Awal, Muhammad Altaf Khan writes, it was Bhatt Sahib who killed the bank man manager, but his close associate Riyaz Dar, who couldn't tolerate indiscipline against his leader. The bank manager was known to have close ties with Makbul Bhatt and the part of the bank robbery plan, but due to fear, he parted ways with them at the end. Following this, Makbul Bhatt was shifted to Tehar jail where the death penalty was awarded against him for murder case of CIT Inspector Amar Chand. Makbul Bhatt was represented by R.C. Patak Kapil Sibu and then Vice President People Conference Muzaffar Hussain Bey. Soon, LF activists of Kashmir in Laden kidnapped Indian diplomat Ravindra Mahatre for the release of part part wasn't released following which Mahatra was killed. Makbul Pat's death sentence was passed by Chief Justice Chandra Chod of Prime of Supreme Court of India. The government in Srinagar was headed by Farooq Abdullah who once claimed Makbul as his leader. Resistant leader Muhammad Altaf Khan, Ilyas Ahmed and Kalabi in his book Panorama Rise, it was General Secretary N.C. Sheikh Nazir who helped us to cross the border. He said that original documents were not in a file, but just a chandratore jaw didn't listen due to political pressure as per the interview of close associate of Pat Senior Vice President JKLF uh, Advocate Bashir Ahmed Pat. Even his request to change the educate was denied. Even journalists were not allowed to meet or interview him, noted journalist Kumkum Chanda. In her book, Indian Jail Rights, despite getting orders for an interview from Supreme Court, she wasn't allowed to interview for security reasons. She further writes that Bert earned the name and fame for fighting the rights of detainees in jail. Ushna Pathak, a renowned educationalist of India and wife of R.C. Pathak, in 2015, during a visit to Kashmir on educational tour, talked and praised the role of Makbul Bhatt in Srinagar, referring to her husband, who was counsel to Makbul Bhatt. Soon after Makbul's death, there were protests and strikes, and even courts were close in his remembrance. The Indian embassy in Islamabad was attacked following which many people were arrested including his son Javed. His two graves, one in Kupwara and other in Eidgar, Srinagar are still waiting for him. His grave in Tehar jail has been removed by authorities and brought into notice by veteran journalist Iftikhar Gilani who was also incarcerated in at Tehar jail. His killing was widely condemned by veteran leader of the world like Yasser Arafat of Palestine, Muhammad Gaddafi of Libya, Bhutto and Zia of Pakistan. Makbul had a vision. Veteran political activist Azam in Kalabi in his book memoir, Payame Hurriyat writes that when he met Makbul first in 1969 in Azad Kashmir, he told him that he wants to liberate Kashmir from India and wants non-Muslim involved in the struggle as they were part and parcel of Kashmir. Muhammad Makbul, but in his interview just before climbing to the gallows, had specified, I do not support any difference on the basis of sex. I believe in establishment of a society based on equality and harmony, and the role of women is as important as the role of men. Daily Islam edition of 9 June 1990. Just as Muhammad Yusuf Sarf writes in Kashmir fight for freedom, Makbul Bhatt is revolutionary of higher order than Bhagat Singh and Ashwak Majidwani. A double graduate, he was news editor of Delhi Anjam and Bangi Haram, as well as editor of English weekly Khabar Mail Peshawar before plunging into politics and not 
the politics of power but that of force of service and sacrifice the ganga tribunal headed by mr justice yaqub ali later chief justice of pakistan has testified that his family of two wives and three children lived on a miserable pittance while he was under the death sentence in Srinagar. In today's Kashmir, Makbul Spat stands as a great symbol of sacrifice, epitome of resistance. JKTV, the voice of the voice guys. Like it and click on following and click on see first. Then you will get all the new notifications and updates.